hi scorpio welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node please take what resonates and leave what does not fit and also remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation okay i could be talking about someone else in your energy so let's see what's going on scorpio okay we're going to pull one of the angel guy oracle cards let's just get an overall energy <clears throat> Spirit guides, angels for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please give me one card for Scorpio. Please give me one card for Scorpio. <clears throat> one card for Scorpio, please. One card for Scorpio. Okay, we have cut the cords, okay? Your sister sign got this, Taurus got that, okay? Bottom of the deck is ask and receive. I think they got that one too, but I'm not sure. So let's see. Well, I don't have to read that since Taurus got it. So there's something here that you need to cut out of your life, maybe energetically. Um, the same thing I was telling Taurus was like, maybe you need to do some uh, spell work, like cutting the cords type of spell work here to get someone out of your energy. There could be people that you are trying to cut out of your life at this time or that you need to. I feel like deep down inside, you know who these people are. Okay. Um, yeah, to bring more positivity in your life and to, you know, receive these blessings here. I feel like you can't have these people nowhere around in your energy or just around you, period. <laughs> like, so, so let's see. You could be in the process of cutting people off here. All right. Yeah, five of swords, five of pentacles, people trying to do some fuck shit. Yeah, the tower. And so I feel like you are letting the tower come down here and moving forward. Yeah. Let's see. Let's give these one big shuffle. I saged them down, but I just want to break the cards up. All right. So let's see what's going on, Scorpio. I'm going to use these in the main spread and then clarify with my other deck. All right. So I hope you guys are doing well today. All right. Let's see. Spirit God Angels for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please give me clear messages for Scorpio Spirit. What is going on with Scorpio, please? <coughs> Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups, the star. Yeah, you're walking away. Okay, um, could have Aquarius placements in your chart or could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be walking away from one. But you and Aquarius' is reading really go hand in hand, really, to me. But look, let's just see. Y'all have like the same messages or I don't know, it's weird. But let's see. Um, What is going on for Scorpio Spirit? Oh, Two of Cups flipped over. Oh, you're in love. <laughs> you're in love, Scorpio, here. Or you're about to meet your soulmate. But I do feel like you already know this person. Yeah, I feel like you're cutting away things to embrace this new relationship. I feel like this is a strong partnership here with the strength card. Could be a Leo or another water sign like you. But yeah, <clears throat> there's two people here that love each other. There's a mutual love, mutual attraction. All right. So a partnership looks like it's trying to form or come in here. Yeah, you pour into their cup, they pour into yours type shit. Let's see, what else for Scorpio? Justice could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, so something is going to work out in your favor. I feel like something is balancing out. This relationship could be balancing out. This partnership could be balancing out. There could be a court situation going on in your life that you're going to be victorious in. It's going to help bring balance back to your life and this partnership because that could have been the obstacle or something here was in the way. Maybe some injustice was done. So karma is here. What else for Scorpio? We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so more opportunities, more doors are opening up for you. This could be confusion too, but I see this as more opportunities, something working out and you having more options to do things. You feel free. You can kind of maneuver whether it be love or whatever 
Okay, but we're going to clarify and see. What else for Scorpio? <clears throat> we have the Page of Pentacles. So good news coming in. It could be a job coming in for you guys. There could be some news about a child here that you were confused about or something like that. But I do see good news, communication coming in about a job or a solid opportunity, a stable opportunity, an opportunity to be able to plant some seeds that could grow into something long term or, you know, something that you can benefit from in the long run. Right. I feel like you're, you're gaining more stability in your life. Yeah, then we have the strength card that wanted to come out. Yeah, right under the two of uh, the two of cups. This is a strong partnership, but you're you're finding that courage and that strength again. Okay, standing in your truth, standing in your power. I'm hearing taming the beast. You tame the beast in someone, Scorpio, or this is, you know, vice versa. Yeah, someone fell in love. <laughs> someone fell in love. Let's see what else for Scorpio. Someone like, uh-uh, I'm cutting all this shit out of my life here. Queen of Cups, this is you, Scorpio. This could be somebody else. But somebody here is very nurturing. I feel like somebody's very nurturing, very caring, compassionate, loving, <clears throat> very emotionally mature, okay? They know how to communicate their feelings, their emotions. I feel like they, this person here holds a special place in your heart and vice versa. Like, it's hard for you both to trust people, but for some reason, you guys just trust each other okay even with all this bullshit going on or you possibly somebody here possibly doesn't really trust the other person now because of everything that has happened but they still trust you in a sense right i can't really explain it but you know it's love <laughs> it's love and then if it's not something that happened that like that bad you know <clears throat> it could be worked out i feel what else for Scorpio? The Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, something here has been moving slow or stagnant. All right, could be someone's finances here that they're trying to work out. That's been coming in really slow, but this is a stable offer. Loyal, dependable. Somebody here could be, you know, reliable. Could be dealing with a, 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 um, a earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, what else for Scorpio? The five of wands okay a lot of fighting conflict arguing maybe somebody trying to take your spot here scorpio but there is some conflict going on the magician at the bottom could be dealing with the virgo so let's clarify and see what all this is about let's see so there could be somebody fighting or trying to get in the way of you offering this pentacle to someone or get in the way of you getting this uh, new promotion, new job, new career. Some of you guys could be in school right now. You guys could be students or you're thinking about going back to school here. All right, but let's see. Spirit guys, angels for Scorpio. Let's see why this... Um, Two of Cups is here. Seven of Cups again at the bottom. With the Three of Wands. So let's just see if that's you fantasizing or dreaming or... <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, the Hierophant at the bottom. The Hermit. Could be dealing with the Virgo. So let's see. What is this Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Page of Pentacles again. It's a clarification that there is an offer and communication coming in. This relationship here is going to be solid. It's going to, you guys are going to start from scratch. Okay. Start new, start fresh and build upon this relationship because, you know, I do feel like somebody's intentions is good here, Scorpio. They want to maybe give you a gift, a present to show their token of love, their appreciation for you. Yeah, I saw the three of swords. So they broke your heart in a way or somebody did could be a younger earth sign what else for the two of cups the five of wands yeah again you guys could be seeing two like a lot of synchronicities maybe two 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 or something because things are coming out in twos but i'm well not coming out in twos but y'all know what i'm saying um yeah this person i don't know if they put you in competition or they just had a lot of background noise that kind of interfered with this relationship could be about their finances or something like that, but there's some fighting or some conflict going on. 
definitely some fighting and some rivalry or some competition. What is this Five of Wands right here with this Two of Cups and the Page of Pentacles? The King of Wands. Will of Fortune. And, the, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, I feel like your person is trying to get to you here, Scorpio. There's a masculine energy here that is trying to get to you. Okay, they're really good looking. <laughs> Every time I see the King of Wands, I just be like, oh, <laughs> the King of Wands is fine. But this person here, they're trying to get to you. They love you. There's just something going on. Or there's some fighting or something that's going on with them in the background. Like I said, it could be about a job, some money. Yeah. The King of Wands is somebody that's passionate, though. They are like... um this person could be a bit hot tempered, you know, or they could have been egotistical in the past. That's probably what the fighting and the arguing was about with you and them. Okay, because they could have been a bit egotistical, like like their shit don't stink or they don't do any wrong or, you know what I'm saying? Or that this is them fighting their feelings. But, yeah, I feel like they, they, they see what's going on here. <laughs> what is the Justice card for Scorpio? Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is you. Um, you could be taking a Queen of Swords to court, or this is somebody here that you just could be a strong Libra that you're dealing with. Um, let me see. Who is this Queen of Swords? For Scorpio, who's this Queen of Swords? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that's causing confusion. The Seven of Cups came out again. Two Page of Pentacles, two Five of Wands, two Seven of Cups. Seven, seven, five, five. And the Page of Pentacles is, I don't know. But, yeah. So, this person is causing confusion here. Or they're trying to confuse you about something. Okay, I feel like you cut this person off. But I feel like you told this person off. Like, you don't want to be bothered with them or whatever the case is. You could have ghosted them. Like, you just don't want to deal with them. Could be taking this person to court, like I said, but there's some justice here going to be served either way. What else for the justice card? The three of pentacles here. So you're going to get that partnership that you want. You're going to get to collab and, and create new things with a, a, a partnership or maybe meet new people. Or this could be a group of people you're taking to court here that you cut off that needs to be in court for whatever reason. I don't know why I keep picking up court, court, court. So it could be a court situation, but I feel like maybe the people that you were working with possibly at work or collabing with, networking with or whatever, it could have just been a group of friends here. Um, maybe they promised some growth or something in a, in a job situation or a work situation or a business here if you own your own business and they just starts to be confusing or they try to confuse you to stop you from seeing something that they were doing here what is this three of pentacles three of wands flipped over the ten of cups yeah in reverse so yeah this is a partnership that's coming to an end you're gonna be with this person for three three or more years here and there's a family situation that's coming to an end. Now I feel like you have options to do whatever the fuck you want or move forward here. I feel like maybe this person had options or they were trying to confuse you about something. But whatever it is, it broke the family up, you know. It's a sad situation, but yeah, it could be some family members here that were collabing or working against you. Yeah, now they confused or whatever the fuck, but... What is the Seven of Cups in the main spread for Scorpio? The Seven of Pentacles. Damn, the synchronicities are crazy. <laughs> you guys would be seeing 777. Yeah, you're waiting for something. You could be confused about maybe an investment that you made. You, you're, you're hoping that this investment is going to um, be fruitful for you. It's going to grow. All right, maybe you're just doing some self-evaluating at this time. You could be having a lot of dreams or something could be like um, your dream space could be giving you answers about a situation going on in your life, about your finances. What else for the Seven of Cups? <clears throat> the 
Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something didn't take off or it's not taking off the way that you planned or the way that you hoped. Okay, something here is... Um, Hmm. something here is not moving forward with the eight of wands in reverse maybe you stop communicating with someone once you found out or once you looked into whatever this is involving your finances here or something here slow down you need patience here you just need patience something is just slow you could be trying to return somewhere but it, it's taking time Yeah, nine of cups. Or something here is just like bad timing. What is this eight of wands in reverse for Scorpio? What is this eight of wands in reverse? The strength card. Yeah, it's making you like, I don't know. Could be dealing with the Leo. You're feeling a lack of like a uh, confidence to do something because you're just confused. Like, when is this shit gonna come, or when is this shit gonna take off? What is happening? Why is it not progressing? Why is it? Why is something delayed so much? Like, I feel like there's been a lot of delays, and it's causing you confusion. Like, you don't know if this is for you anymore because of so many delays. But that's not the case here. You just have to be patient. You could be reviewing something and seeing that you have unfinished business with someone, right? Because there's love here. You have unfinished business with someone, but there's just a lot of things in the way right now that could be stopping that forward movement with that relationship or partnership here. And it's just like, the the longer you wait or the longer you have to wait is weighing on your confidence when it comes down to this person because maybe you think that, the, uh, that they won't wait or they're not waiting. I mean, you can't... You know, somebody's just not going to sit and wait on you, right? They could just still be living their life, but that doesn't mean that they're not waiting on you. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, if they love you, a part of them is waiting on you, but they know that that's not, I mean, you can't expect somebody to wait on you, right? So, yeah, it could be a case of that here. A lot of negativity going on. You guys could be needing to be like, Something here is like a, like you have a lack of romance in your life. You need to like have some sex or something. I don't know. Everything else is going on around you and you're missing that, that intimacy. Right. But let's just keep going. What is a uh, page of pentacles right here for Scorpio in the main spread? The high priestess. Yeah, you know something is coming. It's just taking forever. Isn't that annoying? Like, you can tell when something is coming, but it's, it's just annoying here. Something is being hidden from you. Somebody here could do tarot. Somebody is a really good tarot reader. You could be watching tarot and get, trying to get answers about something, or maybe you need to watch tarot. Or this is what you're studying here. You're studying tarot. I feel like you find somebody to be very attractive as well. Like, yeah, you're learning something. What else for um, Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess? The magician. Yeah, somebody's powerful as fuck. Somebody's like a powerful manifester. Somebody is just like in their power. Somebody knows to roll. They're a psychic. They're a medium here. They're very mystical, this person. Or this is what you're learning here. You're learning more about this person and what they do. You're a student. Somebody here gets paid for the work that they do. Um, the tarot work they do because they're a really good tarot reader. What is this high priestess? Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini. What is this um, high priestess? The Queen of Cups again. <laughs> Confirmations in this reading is crazy. <laughs> yeah, so this is this Queen of Cups. This person could have kids. They could be a really, really good mother figure here. They're a psychic. Somebody here is a psychic. And they are like an alchemist. They can create whatever it is that they want to create. They're they're powerful. They know what they're doing here, this person. Yeah, this person is definitely um somebody that you are looking at. I feel like you're looking at this person or they're looking at you here. Do your work. Okay. Wow, this is cute. What is the magician right here? The Hierophant? Taurus energy? Yeah, this person is manifesting a relationship or you're manifesting a long-term commitment here. But this person, whoever this is, is a spiritual guru. They are the shit. Somebody is the shit. 
with their work, their tarot readings, their work or whatever. Somebody just is, knows what they're doing here. They have great morals, great values. They have integrity. They do their work with integrity here. They, 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 they treat people with respect. They give great messages here that can help other people. Somebody here is a wise counsel. They give good advice here. They're really real and authentic, but they still hold, you know, they're still very empathetic and compassionate towards the people that they are speaking to. Somebody here could run a YouTube channel like I do. Yeah, somebody's a really, really, um, you're learning from this person. I feel like that's okay. Yeah, Page of Swords, you're learning. You're studying something or someone is. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I feel like this is why you love this person. Because they, they know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> they know what they're doing. And I feel like you find that very admirable. You like what they do for work. You could want to partner up with this person or work with them. Oh, Scorpio. What is the strength card? You want a commitment with they ass, really. What is the strength card? What is the strength card right here in the main spread? Yeah, because it's upright right here, but reverse right there. The lovers. Yeah, I told you this is a strong partnership. Whatever this shit is, it could be a twin flame partnership. But the Hierophant, the lovers, the two of cups. Yeah, it could be a strong Gemini. Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. This person, this person that you want to go to, y'all have a very strong sexual chemistry. Like the bond is so strong and emotional. I feel like everything just matches perfectly emotionally, physically, mentally. You guys have great conversations or you did. I mean, I don't know if this person's in community. I mean, they can't be with the eight of wands in reverse. So you guys aren't speaking right now for whatever reason. There could have been a choice between two and they chose someone else or something and realized quickly that they're in love with you. You're the one. You're their twin flame. You're their soulmate. <laughs> you know. I don't know. Some people learn that way, man. <laughs> but this is probably why they're lacking that confidence because it's like, I don't know if I can go back to that person. I already fucked it up, you know. But if y'all meant to come together, it's going to happen regardless. <laughs> so... Let's see, what is the strength card right here with the lovers? What is the strength card right here with the lovers? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, something is weighing this person down. They're just watching you like a hawk. They wanna give you this offer. Yeah, Six of Cups, someone from your past wants to come in and give you this offer of love and tell you how they feel. Okay, romance you, wine and dine you here. They want to come in with some type of truth, maybe about their past. Yeah, with the tennis or something here. Somebody got betrayed or hurt in a situation. But yeah, this person is weighed the fuck down. Like they're weighed. I feel like this person is sexually frustrated too. They're really, really trying to hold back from having sex or refrain from having sex here because they want you. <laughs> so they're trying to do everything that they can to work through whatever this is. Yeah, what is this ten of one? Oh, this is just this person. They have a lot of responsibilities here. Let's see, what is this um ten of wands right here with the lovers and the strength? The nine of cups. Yeah, somebody here needs some sex. Okay, somebody's like um not not very satisfied right now. There's wish fulfillment coming in though. They're working hard to get to this wish fulfillment. They just have to let these burdens go or, or let this this all this shit go, whatever they're holding on to, whatever this baggage is. Could be in another relationship that they're holding on to, but I don't feel that energy. They need some satisfaction, sexual satisfaction. Somebody needs some TLC, like tender loving care. They need some kisses, hugs or something. And they're trying to hold back because they don't want nobody else. Whoever this is, they don't want anyone else. You are their wish fulfillment. They're comfortable with you. They're happy with you. You guys already have a really strong connection, strong bond. So it's like, yeah. You know. Oh, cute. <laughs> what is this Queen of Cups right here in the main spread? <clears throat> okay, Queen of Wands. Hmm. What else for the Queen of Cups in the main spread? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So, I feel like somebody's trying to act like your person. We do have the king, the Queen to the King of Wands, right?
Somebody's trying to act like your person. But whoever this is is unstable. They're posing as the Queen of Cups, but they're really the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is somebody that often comes up in my spreads as like the mistress, the other woman, the, the extra bitch on the side. You know, somebody that's irrelevant, basically. Yeah. And they're unstable, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, they're broke, okay? Something here is not moving forward with this person. That's that's number one. Uh, hmm. This person is... <laughs> Somebody knows that somebody is just disloyal. They're a deadbeat or or materialistic or something like that. Who is this Queen of Wands right here? Somebody's boring. If somebody was having, I don't know if they had like some sexual connection or a bond or something with this person, but they're boring to this person. So that's why something is not moving forward. Not just because they're boring. They're just, it's like this person compared to you here, they don't know what they're doing sexually with someone. That's what I like. I'm feeling that energy. It's very strong coming through. So somebody's not returning to someone because first of all, they don't like their ass like that and they're boring in bed. They're, they're a pillow queen here. They just, they don't know what they're doing. And this is somebody that can't be trusted anyway. So I don't feel like that person is thinking about that person. They're trying to be in competition with you here. The tarot reader, the psychic, whoever that is. What is, um? who is this queen of wands right here? Who is this queen of wands? The judgment in reverse. This person... <clears throat> somebody here could have made the wrong decision in love right but this queen of wands right here is just unawakened they're they're not very self-aware okay they don't they just i don't know something about this person is off yeah something about them is off they could they could be gossiping about you here. This person talks about you like a dog or talks about your person like a dog here. They're a karmic, this person. One more for this Queen of Wands with the judgment in reverse. The star, yeah. Something here is just not working out with this person. They're just something here is not going to be healed with this person. They're not whoever this is in this energy that's craving you, your person, they're not fucking with whoever this is. And this Queen of Wands is trying so hard to like get your person to be a certain type of way yeah with the knight of pentacles in reverse and the knight of pentacles up right here this person is trying to offer what your person is trying to offer you so this queen of wands is trying to offer your person what you're trying to what they're trying to give to you i mean yeah they're declining this offer because they don't want this person whoever this is they're really trying it <laughs> they're trying it that's cute real cute <laughs> you know but this this person is a whore Okay, just period. So, I feel like somebody is not thinking about that person. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just like, I, I'm hearing, I'd rather be single than to fuck with that. <laughs> okay. This person doesn't want something to work out with you and your person here. They don't. They're trying to be. Yeah, they're they're a copycat. Somebody here's a copycat. It's just weird, but whatever. But they talk about you though. They talk shit about you or they gossiped about you here. So they your person won't come towards you with this offer. Somebody here's a, a jealous, envious little little bitch. Okay. Just period. What what is this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio in the uh, main spread? What is the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio in the main spread, please? The Knight of Cups in reverse yeah this person this offer yeah page of wands page of cups this offer got revoked or taken back from you here scorpio because somebody is trying to like i don't know if they're trying to fuck with the energy or they're just being a little creep okay and gossiping about you talking shit about you let me let me see what else for the knight of pentacles with the knight of cups in reverse the ace of pentacles yeah, I feel like I feel like you know whoever this is is focused on their money. 
they're focused on their money and they're declining this offer from this person. They're doing everything that they can to get this person to come to be with them or get you to be with them or however the story is going. Because I'm feeling my ears ringing down. Because I'm feeling third party. Oh my gosh, my ears are ringing so loud. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They never rung that loud. There's an offer coming into you here, um, Scorpio, from your person. It could, could be, like I said, a strong earth sign. They're coming in towards you, but it's coming in slow or stuck or stagnant right now because somebody is being declined and they're mad. They're pissed that they're being rejected. Somebody here is disloyal. They're a cheater and they're a liar and they just don't keep their promises here. This could be your person too, though. They didn't keep their promise in the past. They weren't, you know, very stable with you. They were very in and out with you. Okay, they're coming back to keep their promise here with the Ace of Pentacles. They're coming back to give you a stable offer. I feel like they feel like, they, uh, I don't know if you if they owe you money or something like that. Yeah, and I, and I also feel like this person gave their offer to the wrong person. And now they don't want to be with that person anymore. So now it's a whole bunch of hoopla. It's a whole bunch of shenanigans going on and, bull, and bullshit. Something here feels like it's backfiring too. What is this five of wands in the main spread? The six of swords. Yeah, somebody moving on from conflict. Okay, moving on to calmer waters. Getting away from the fighting, the arguing, the bickering, the back and forth, the bitter behavior. Yeah, somebody, somebody is in like shape-shifting energy or they're trying to act like you. What else for the five of wands with the six of swords? The page of cups so yeah there's this uh, apology coming in maybe from a younger water sign or this is you uh maybe you owe someone an apology or you just want to tell this person how you feel this is an admirer here somebody that admires you that that loves you here love is here yeah ace of cups with the four of wands yeah your twin flame twin flame connection strong twin flame bond somebody feels like you're home to them and vice versa so there's a message coming in and I feel like, you know, they feel like it's going to be an argument. <laughs> they think it's going to be an argument. It might be before you guys move on to karma waters, but I feel like this is their goal with you, but they, they are getting their life together here together. I feel like they want to offer you something stable, something long-term. Okay. But yeah, this person is coming in with an apology. So let's pull an elemental oracle card for you. Let's see what comes out for Scorpio spirit. For Scorpio. <clears throat> let's see. I feel like somebody smells really good or they dress really nice. Somebody keeps themselves up. Both of you, I feel, do. And whoever the masculine energy is smells good as fuck. <laughs> what is this? Um, uh, let's get one card for Scorpio please so we have home yeah did not just say you feel like home to somebody this earth energy it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn it could be your sister sign because i did talk about that in the beginning i'm not surprised then we have mystery dark matter building so let's see what this is let's see what this says number 15 could be significant in a way or number six you could be going like returning to an earth sign here it says, yeah, I was going to say ground yourself. It says, take some time to take time to ground yourself. The earth is our home and we are a part of nature, not apart from it. Do all you can to take positive custodianship of the world around you. Pay attention to your body and your home. Turn your eyes towards home. Avoid disconnection with devices and extreme busyness. Yeah, you feel like home to this person. You, you really do here. I feel like somebody's path is illuminated. The path to, to, to you is illuminated. The path to feeling like their home within themselves is illuminated could be you or this other person right so let's see okay dark matter says the world still has mystery and this is a fine thing just because you cannot see it doesn't mean it is not there you do not have to know the details of everything some things are better not revealed at this time have faith yeah spirit is calling causing you is calling you to have faith in this situation because some things are are, are just they're hidden they are hidden but spirit is testing you to see if you're going to work through these issues and leave the, you know, past this karmic test. Because I feel like it's a karmic that's hanging around or something that you need to cut cords with energetically. 
and physically shit. You need to get away from this person. That could be what the hold up is, you know. So yeah, this was your reading, Scorpio. All right. Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.